Hi there, my name is Colin Diblin and I'm a fourth year medical student at King's College London. And this year I've been intercalating, which is where you take a year off of medicine to do another bachelor's of science in imaging sciences, also at King's. I started this YouTube channel to share some of the knowledge I've gained during my application to medical school, the last four years of medical school, and to share my journey through my last two years of medical school and into becoming a doctor. I know this is right at the start of the video, but please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm really early in my journey through YouTube and it really helps the algorithm to find me. Thank you so much. A little bit about myself. I grew up in North London in Tottenham where I attended a state secondary school. I graduated secondary school with pretty good GCSEs and then applied to my local sixth form because my secondary school didn't have an attached one. I was lucky enough to really excel in maths when I was younger. I sat my GCSE statistics in year seven, GCSE maths in year nine, and then A-level maths in year 10 and 11. At A-level, I then studied further maths, biology, chemistry, and physics. I carried all of those subjects through to A2 and didn't drop any AS, probably thinking that by having more subjects, I'd be in better standing when applying to university, not really understanding at the time that they only really care about the three that you do. In year 12, at the start of sixth form, I started thinking about what I was gonna do at university. In secondary school, I think I'd always assumed that I'd study maths somewhere like Cambridge, but a lot of my friends and family asked me why I wasn't applying for medicine. And so I thought, I don't know why I'm not applying for medicine, I'll have a look into it. And so I decided that I would try and get some work experience. I asked around at all of the local GPs and eventually got one just at the top of my road to agree to give me a week of work experience. I then asked everyone I know and asked all of my family to ask everyone they knew to try and find some hospital work experience and eventually got some hospital work experience at King's College Hospital in South London through the grandparent of one of my younger brother's school friends. If you live in a city like London, just ask everybody and someone will know someone who will be able to get you some work experience if you're struggling to find some. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, around the start of sixth form was also when I discovered that it was quite fun to have a social life. I really struggled getting myself to revise properly, uh, particularly with coursework, which I found very difficult at the time and I ended up not doing as well as I should have in my AS exams. At AS, I got a B in further maths, an A in physics, and Cs in biology and chemistry, whereas I'd been predicted to get straight A's. The one saving grace of my medical school application that summer was my UK CAT, which is now called the UCAT exam, where I scored 817.5, which put me in the top 1% of applicants that year. Unfortunately, despite that, not having particularly above average GCSE results and quite poor A-level results for a medical applicant really limited the number of medical schools I could apply for. And so I spent a lot of time shopping around, talking to tutors, talking to medical school application boards about where I should even bother applying. By talking to the admissions teams at different universities, I found out that my maths A-level that I'd taken outside of the same two-year block as my other A-levels wouldn't be counted by most universities. And also I had to retake a module in one of my other A-levels and that meant that quite a lot of places could just rule me out altogether. So having shopped around a lot, I decided in the end that I would apply for Plymouth, Exeter, Leeds and the King's College London Extended Medical Degree Programme. So the Extended Medical Degree Programme at King's or EMDP is a six year instead of a five year medical degree programme. Effectively your first two years are the same as the first one year of the five year course but you have the content a bit more spread out. You have some extra content in there, which is medicine related and some extra content, which is about studying and learning in general. I found those really useful because moving from A-level to university was quite a big transition for me. I knew that I needed some time off between studying at secondary and sixth form and then studying at university. So I applied for all of my courses with deferred entry, knowing that I wanted to take a gap year. Because of that, I also didn't apply for a fifth choice on my UCAS. I just did the four medical school applications, thinking if I didn't get in my first time, I could apply while on my gap year. I was successful in applying for an interview at Exeter, Plymouth and Kings. I think my interviews went pretty well. I ended up getting offers for Plymouth and Kings and accepted my Kings offer. In my final A-level results, I ended up getting two A's, maths and chemistry, and three B's, further maths, biology and physics. So in September 2015, I started at King's and the rest is probably content for another video. I started my blog, drdiblin.com, in January of 2020 with the aim of sharing my knowledge of the application to medicine with aspiring medical students. 
already on there is a ton of advice on applying to medicine in the UK, including the academic and non-academic requirements, what a successful personal statement looks like, where we go through my own personal statement and kind of dissect it. It's advice on how to write your own personal statement and what to do right now in the COVID-19 crisis when you can't be getting in-person work experience. On the blog, I also write posts on life as a medical student in London, tips and tricks on how to study for your exams, whether it's medicine or another course, and study guides on clinical and preclinical medicine. So please do subscribe to my channel if you're an aspiring medical student, a current medical student looking for tips, tricks and study guides, or you're just interested in study guides or the life of a medical student in London. I am pretty active on social media. You can find me on Instagram at Dr. Diblin and the same on Facebook at Dr. Diblin and you can find me on Twitter at Connor Diblin. I'll put a link below to my website and my different social media accounts. I'm super keen to connect with anyone who's watching. Any comments, suggestions or questions, please chuck them below. I'll get back to you.